Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Today we are going to discuss about the circulatory system and in particular we are going to discuss about the human heart. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session. We are going to see about the closed circulatory system and we will be studying about the size, shape and location of the heart followed by the cardiovascular system, the external anatomy and the cross section of human heart. We will be seeing about the circuits which helps the heart in functioning. And then we will be studying about the functions of the heart and the heart wall. So let us see what is meant by the closed circulatory system. Humans generally have a closed circulatory system which is found in all vertebrates in which the blood is confined to the blood vessels. And it is differentiated from the interstitial fluid. The heart pumps the blood into large vessels which branch into smaller ones, leading to the organs. The materials are exchanged by the process of diffusion between the blood and the interstitial fluid which surrounds the blood cells. So this is all about the closed circulatory system and this is how the blood flows in a human circulatory system. Next we are going to see about the size, shape and location of the heart. So if you see the heart is located over here for a human between the right and the left lung and above the diaphragm inside the rib cage. The size of the heart is the size of a closed fist that is if you close your fist then the size of the fist is known as the size of the heart. Your shape of the heart is a combination of apex and base. Apex is nothing but the blunt rounded point of a cone. So you can see that there is a blunt rounded point over here and next the shape is base that is a flat part at the opposite end of the cone. So for a cone, it will have a flat base and you can find it over here. So this is how the heart has the shape. Your heart is located in the thoracic cavity in the mediastinum. Next we are going to see about the cardiovascular system. There are three major elements. The three major elements includes the heart, the blood vessels and the blood. Your heart is made up of cardiac muscle tissue which has highly interconnected cells. And the heart has four chambers which are the right and the left atrium and the right and the left ventricle. So these are the four chambers of your heart. You can see over here the left atrium and the left ventricle. So this is the right ventricle and right atrium. So these are the four chambers of your heart in which the blood is pumped in and out. Next we are going to see about the cardiovascular system and this is the sectional view of your heart. 
you can see that there is a right atrium and your left atrium your right ventricle and the left ventricle so here you can see your SA node which generates the impulse for the heart to pump and that is transmitted to your AV node which pumps the walls of the ventricles so these are the parts of your human heart the major blood supply is done through the aorta into the left atrium which pumps the blood that comes through the aorta and the pulmonary veins through the semi lunar valve and it reaches the left ventricle through the atrioventricular valve so from the left ventricle the blood travels through the semi lunar valve into the aorta here there is the pulmonary artery and this is your anterior vena cava this is the right atrium as you can see and your pulmonary veins are located over here you can find the semi lunar valve over here for your right ventricle and we have the atrioventricular valve over here the posterior vena cava is present in here this will be the right and the left ventricle so this is the structure of a human heart the image what you're seeing is the external anatomy of a human heart it has four chambers which includes two atria and two ventricles you can see the left and the right atrium over here and the left and the right ventricles form the lower region and you have the auricles followed by the major veins superior vena cava and the pulmonary veins the major arteries include the aorta and the pulmonary trunk over here so now you're able to see the cross sectional view of the human heart the two lungs can be found over here and this is the spine region and here you can see the superior vena cava and the ascending aorta through which the blood is pumped in and pumped out your left and the right vein atrium is visible over here and the left and the right ventricle over here let us see about the circuits your pulmonary circuit is nothing but the blood pathway between the right side of the heart to the left to the lungs and back to the left side of the heart so the pathway between the right side of the heart to your lungs where the blood is purified and back to the left side of the heart where the pure blood is pumped out so this forms the pul pulmonary circuit whereas systemic circuit is the pathway between the left and the right sides of your heart it doesn't have the lungs included so that is your systemic circuit
Let us see the functions of the heart. The first function is generating the blood pressure. And it will also route the blood, that is the heart, separates the pulmonary and the systemic circulations, ensuring that your blood flows only in one way. The heart valves ensure one-way flow of the blood. And it regulates the blood supply by changing in the contraction rate and the force which matches the blood delivery to change the metabolic needs. So generating the blood pressure, routing the blood, ensuring one-way blood flow and regulating the blood supply are the important functions of your heart. Next, we are going to study about the heart wall. There are three layers of tissue in your heart wall. The epicardium, the myocardium, followed by the endocardium. Your epicardium is a serous membrane of smooth outer surface of the heart. So this is your epicardium and it is a smooth outer surface of your heart. So inside your epicardium you can find the myocardium which is the middle layer composed of cardiac muscle and responsible for the heart contracting and expanding and following by which we can find the endocardium which is a smooth inner surface of the heart chambers. So beneath it you have a heart chamber. So above your epicardium you can find your pericardial cavity above which you have the parietal layer of serous pericardium and the fibrous pericardium. So these are the layers of your heart wall. You can clearly see the sectional view of your heart wall over here. Where you have the simple epithelium inside which you have loose and connective tissue and fat which forms the endocardium layer and within which you have the myocardium and the endocardium inside which you can find the tricuspid. So the section over here has been enlarged into this showing the heart wall which has the following layers that is your epicardium, myocardium and endocardium above which you have the fibrous pericardium and the parietal layer and the pericardial cavity. If you see your pericardium that is the outermost layer of your heart has the fibrous pericardium and the serous pericardium. Your serous pericardium has the layers parietal pericardium and the visceral pericardium or epicardium. The pericardial cavity is filled with the fluid known as your pericardial fluid. So this is how your pericardium is composed of fibrous and serous. Serous is further composed of parietal and visceral pericardium where your cavity is filled with pericardial fluid. Thank you so much for joining GTEC. Hope you would have found this video useful. Thank you.